what's up thanks for checking in no one worldwide here again with another video uh, i'm just continuing in the series of me wrapping my uh, wife's wagon um, that thing right there um, as you'll see in the last video we got a lot of uh, work done to it uh, sanded down the roof sanded down the hood um, disassembled some stuff so that way we can get ready for today and as you can see I got you know I got most of the garage cleared out so I can get it up in there but um, if we go and take a look at the car now we'll see that um, got most everything that I wanted to sand is sanded now got the tail lights off got the wiper out um, and like I said got everything pretty much dialed in so that we can go on ahead and start wrapping it the only thing i'm going to do now is uh take the front and rear bumpers off well i might not even do the back bumper right now i know for sure i'll take this front bumper off and um try and get the door handles off as well i don't know on this car if you take the door handles off if i'm still able to open the doors or not so i will have to just figure that out um but yeah we'll go ahead and just get into the garage and then um Probably get, I'm probably going to put this on jack stand to take the wheels off just because I want to make it as easy as I can for myself. I don't want to be laying down on the ground trying to, you know, like tuck the, t tuck the wrap up underneath the fenders and whatnot. So I just don't like struggling. So we get this thing in the garage. Man, I love this wagon. I'm telling you guys, these guys are, these are some really cool cars, man. So, we got the wagon in the garage. Um, I'm just gonna go on ahead now and uh, just get it up on jack stands. And uh, at least in the front, I'm gonna get it on jack stands. And then, um, I don't know, I might have to like wrap the front of the car, possibly. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room back there in the back to get to it. I might have to turn it around. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the car up on jack stands and get this front bumper off. All right, got the bumper off. So as I was telling you before, this front bumper is not bad. I can wrap it, I probably am gonna wrap it. But it does have that crack right there, which I don't know, I'm not too happy about. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I should wrap it or not because it's really gonna t t turn out looking terrible. So, I don't know. Probably be the last thing I do is the bumpers anyway. So I have a lot of time to decide. This front bumper is going to be kind of hard to wrap too because it has all these inlays. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, so got everything off the front. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull both these wheels off and then uh, I'll pretty much give you a rundown of the materials I'm going to use and what tools I have um, to try and do this job. So, I'll see you guys here in a minute. All right, so I'm just gonna work from left to right so you can see what I'm working with. Um, first thing we have is these wrap sticks. Um, I don't think these are entirely 100% necessary, um, but they do help in tucking in around tight corners. And the best part about these is that they are magnetic. So, you know, they'll just stick to wherever I place them at. They're made out of plastic, the different colors, um, mean different stiffnesses. I think, I think green is a, you can see how flexible this is. I think green is the softest and I think the clear is the hardest and then the orange is somewhere in the middle. But like I said, um, in order to, you know, like say tuck around edges like these, I can have this guy to help 
You can also use the back edge of it as well. Um, so it should be super helpful to use. They come with their own monkey strips on them, which are these little melt felt pads. Because when you wrap cars, I know a lot of people use squeegees, but you don't actually rub the plastic squeegee on the wrap. That will just scratch it all up. That, you know, that brings me to using these. These are monkey strips. They're pretty much felt pads that are sticky and you take them and you wrap them around the ends of the, um, around the edge of the uh, squeegee. So um, these are, I got a pack of these because they're on Amazon. All this stuff was on Amazon except for, except for maybe, I think the wrap sticks are from Sign Maker Tools, I believe. You have to check them out. And then everything else I believe I got on Amazon. So um, I got a hard squeegee. This is a very stiff squeegee. Um, would help in, let's say, doing the back bumpers here where you need to tuck something in tight in here and you need a hard squeegee to get back up in there. Um, if you take your bumpers off, obviously you won't have too much trouble with that. But um, having a hard squeegee to kind of force the wrap down into tight cracks is super helpful. The blue squeegees are the ones I'm going to be wrapping most of the car with. They're soft squeegees. Um, here, I'll show you. This is pretty hard. Can't really flex it. Um, get one of these blue ones out here. You can see these are a little softer. I can flex them a little easier. Um, went on ahead and got a knife. You 100% need a knife. You 100% need squeegees. You definitely need monkey strips. Um, I got a knife, which you will need. Um, I don't, this is a 30 degree blade. Um, you can see here, it's pretty much like an X-Acto knife. The blades, I don't, I don't think it'll focus, but the blades will snap off. You can buy like a pack of blades to replace um, these with. I don't, I think I bought some. I just don't think I have them out right now. But um, yeah, that'll be the knife. Um, another pretty optional piece is these wrap gloves. I didn't know it came with two of them. I think their logo is pretty funny. It says paint is dead. Clearly it is dead on this car. But um, yeah, these are just soft gloves that you can wear so that you can manipulate the wrap without using your greasy fingers or dirty fingers if that is the case. Um, I have a triangle squeegee, which I believe is going to be helpful. I mean, it's pretty flexible, but it's the same color as this. So I'd imagine they're roughly the same firmness. Um, but this is actually a tent installation tool. But the way I see most people using it is to, you know, pull back the uh, seals around. Let me see. Let me show you here. Let's say pull these seals right here, like to hold them down as I wrap on them. You know, like to hold them up so I can tuck the wrap in there. Um, should be pretty helpful with that. Um, don't think you need this, but it's nice to have it. It was on Amazon. I think it was like $9. Uh, most of all this stuff is very cheap, by the way. Um, then we'll also have a set of four wrap magnets. These have felt tips or rubber tips on the ends of them. Obviously, they're magnetic. So I don't have, you know, nine foot long arms. So... There would be no way for me to, let's say, hold the wrap over here and go all the way to the end of the car and try to hold it back there. Instead, I can just use a wrap magnet or a couple of them here and here to hold the wrap. Then I can pull the wrap back and take a measurement and cut what I need back there. So those will be coming in handy for that. Um, I have a little bit of masking tape to <coughs> mask the adjacent panels that I'm working on. So when I do use my knife, I don't cut into the car by accident that uh, hopefully the tape will save me there um, some microfiber cloths and you'll be using that with the 70 percent isopropyl alcohol i'll have a spray bottle i'm gonna pour all that into don't dilute that or anything just leave it straight like that i bought that at target um, as you can tell <clears throat> we're on the up and up there but um you probably could use stronger uh, alcohol if they make that I don't know and uh, just dilute it down with water but from what I'm told this will work the best and we'll use this as kind of like a panel prep to wipe it all down clean to get all the grease and dirt and anything off of the panel 
granted I washed the car already so hopefully you know this will get all the last of the contaminants off I just got a little pack of three pack of uh, microfiber cloths and then this is probably the most important thing you'll need is a heat gun now um, I, I already work on cars a lot and I have a lot of tools already and so this heat gun I already had just laying around um, I bought it at Harbor Freight I've had it for probably four or five years it works just fine um, there are a lot of settings um, there's 14 temperature settings I don't think you need to go that extravagant I think this heat gun cost me about 60 bucks maybe um, I know Harbor Freight sells them sells some for about $20 or $29 something like that that'll probably work just fine um, really it's not so much I mean you want it to be hot obviously but you don't want to melt the wrap because that'll happen because it's just plastic and um, pretty much you can if you just have one that has one setting you know low and high maybe um, all you got to do really is just control the distance away from the wrap you are putting the gun you know obviously you're not going to just you know just put the heat gun straight on it like that you'll probably melt it you can probably just keep a certain distance and you know you'll just have to figure that out on your own but um, this is pretty much all I'm going to be using to wrap this car um, I don't think I'll need anything else but yeah we'll just uh, I'll get right in uh, getting the other well, I bought a big roll I bought a five foot by 50 foot roll of wrap um, the wrap I'm using is made by vivid um, I'm using it's called um, I think it's called demon black it looks like this we'll see what it looks like in the Sun you can see it's gloss now what I like about this film which is I think is helpful for beginners is that um, it has a protective cap on it so as I was saying earlier when you're wrapping gloss um, it's kind of hard to not put scratches in it as you're squeegeeing it down I mean not you know major scratches most of them will just heat out and you won't see them anymore but what I like about this vivid wrap is that it has a little plastic cap I don't know if you can tell but there is an extra cap on top so right now I'm not actually even touching the wrap because there's a plastic cover on top of it so what's good about this is you can wrap the whole car with this cap on because it moves, it stretches with the um, with the film. So you can stretch it around the panels or do whatever you need to do. And then um, when you're done, you can just peel off the cap and you'll have a nice, perfect, um, glossy wrap underneath because you wouldn't have touched it with the squeegee. But I am using this color. Um, this is just a small, this is not the big, I have a big roll of it inside. This is just a small, um, I don't even know how big this is, uh, one foot by five foot roll, but this is the color it's going to be. So let's just get right into wrapping it. I'm going to start with the fenders first. 